Hi, I'm Dave. Who's Dave? Hi, I'm Dave. Please watch. Now that the country is slowly opening up, there's a couple of things we have to remember. One, be safe. Wear your mask when you leave your house. You know, wear your mask when you're going for a walk, when you're going to the store, wherever you're going, wear your mask. You know, the coronavirus is still out there. You can still catch it and you can still give it to someone else if you have it. Two, practice good social distancing. You know, um, that's probably one of the best things you can do is practice good social distancing if you are gonna venture out into the park or the museum, the store, or wherever you're going, you know. Um, <clears throat> because the country is slowly opening up, many ideas have been floated around as to how we can practice good social distancing. Uh, they all have to do with bubbles, you know. Um, uh, and then reading all these articles kind of reminded me of the movie Bubble Boy, you know, where this boy lived his whole life in a bubble, and when he finally left his home, he traveled across the country, and he was in a bubble this whole time. And I feel like that's how, that's the direction we're heading if a lot of these ideas, you know, um, go from the you know from the beginning stages all the way to the end we're going to be traveling you know in our cities in a bubble um, the restaurants have actually uh, started to implement this idea at a smaller on a large on a smaller scale where it's, instead of a full-blown bubble around you they're putting like um, either a glass enclosure or a bubble around you and it's just a chair so you're still having lunch or dinner with somebody else you're just encased you know in, in a bubble or, or glass dome. Um, it's an interesting idea. Yeah, you're still having lunch or dinner with somebody, but I feel like it's gonna be hard to hear someone else talk. The conversation's gonna be hard. You're either gonna be screaming at each other or you're gonna be texting each other um, to have a conversation. Uh, but at least you're still um, enjoying someone else's company outside of your home. Um, another thing that has been floated around are quarantine pods. That's where if you're in a family or a group of friends that, that lives together and you still want to have human and human contact with another group of friends or family, you choose someone that, that you know has practiced um, good social distancing, someone that did good during quarantine and has not gotten sick, has not been exposed to the coronavirus, and you either go to their pod or they come to your pod, so at least you have good social human-to-human -human interaction. But... Um, I feel like that kind of creates clicks um, because you're you're having to pick which of your friends you actually feel safest will fit with and which of your friends you actually like the most. I feel like people are going to feel excluded or left out or hurt only because if I'm picking this friend to be able to go into their pod or they come into my pod to hang out, this other friend could feel hurt because I didn't pick them. And I could probably get hurt if this friend picks me over picks um, someone else over me. So I, it's, it's an interesting idea in order to have good social human-to-human -human contact, but it also might create some hurt feelings in the long run. Um, what's another um, thing that actually just happened last week is the Flaming Lips performed in bubbles and the audience were in bubbles for the late show. Um, I, th I thought that was an interesting thing to do. It might have, I feel like it could be fun the first time you do it because you're all in bubbles, you feel like you're, you're part of something bigger. But I feel like it's gonna get tiring to go to a concert, pay all this money, just to be enclosed in a bubble. And you're not really having a clear view of the performer or the bandmates, you know? You're not gonna have any, like if they reach out to you, you know, touch your hand or you wanna touch your, touch your favorite singer or whatever, you know? And also, a lot of people like to take signs. What are you gonna do? You can't take signs to a concert if you're in a bubble. Also, um, these bubbles could also create some kind of bad reflection when the lights are hitting them, you know, on the stage. So I feel like the bubbles are going to be fun the first time around because it's a new experience, but you don't have that same concert experience where you could, you're interacting with the person next to you or the person in front of you, and you're not, you don't have like a clear view of your favorite singer and the bandmates. Um, what's also interesting is that in 2012 or 2013, China, um, as a way to promote camping, created the Bobo Hotel. And that's where people um, rented out a Bobo. And they were all over the city, whatever um, city in China it was. And they were all over the city. And you would go into this room, you slept, you watched TV, whatever it was. And they were set out in the city. So if people were walking by you, they could see everything that's going on. 
Um, but it, it's an interesting way to promote camping, and I feel that eventually that's where we're heading. If a lot, of, if a lot of these ideas are applied in terms of living in a bubble, you know, socializing in a bubble, we're gonna end up like the that Chinese promotion where you're in public and you're basically on display inside a bubble for people to just like look into your life. So I don't know. Um, it's an interesting idea to live in bubbles, but I don't know if that's something I want to do on a day-to-day -day basis. All right. Let me know what you guys think. Have a good one.